was kind of like digging that hold music that we had going. It was very nice. Yeah. Yes. Very. Yes. <sighs> yeah, it's very groovy. I guess it's the best way I'd put it. Like 8-bit groovy. Yeah, very much. You could kind of sort of dance to it. Yeah, like chair dance, like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Between the the dancing and the confetti this weekend. <laughs> it has been a fantastic weekend. It really has. <sighs> All right. Well, it is with much sadness and regret that I announce that the NPC is ending after this. You can hang out in the space for another half an hour. Um, thank you to everybody who came and supported this event. Um, it was an amazing turnout for such little marketing. We did not do much of any marketing at all. And so the fact that yeah, we got we the number of people. Marketing budget, so. Yeah, we didn't have a budget. The budget was the uh, pocket lint I had in my pocket and like a shiny rock, which most people don't accept as currency. Yeah. Um, so thank you for everybody being here. Thank you to our speakers. We had so many amazing people who stepped up to speak and give us information. Like it mm -hmm. was truly, truly incredible. And I am so grateful for all of you. Like we were so blessed to have some incredible speakers for our first year, like Dick Margulis and Mal Cooper and Quinn Ward. Like we had some really amazing folks donate their time to this. And I could not be more grateful. Ah, there's Lisa. Let's see if we, Lisa, are you? Uh, if you type in chat, are you wanting to be pulled up to speak? I don't know if she can see me. Well, I'll send her an invite anyway. There we go. Invite to speak. She can choose to speak or not. Uh, there she is. Hi, Lisa. Um, Lisa is also one of the conference people in charge here. She did all of our copy editing and was instrumental in helping us make some decisions about various parts of the conference and do some of the marketing. So she's been hiding, but it is so lovely to see her. Hi, Lisa. Lovely to see you. Yes. Oh, you are muted somehow. I think you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> Tech gremlins. They strike at the last possible minute. Of course they do. Yes, the fifth beetle has revealed themselves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my husband is challenging you to confetti him. So right after this, everybody hunt him down for one last time in the conference and confetti the heck out of him. Like Absolutely. <laughs> that is the plan. So while Lisa fights her tech gremlins, uh, can hear me now? I can hear you now. You yes. It's hilarious because you're like, oh, just say something in the chat. I'm like, where is the chat? And then I'm like, I don't know any, I couldn't even, I'm old. It's okay. I'm you. old too. It's just Discord is my second home. <laughs> so yes, I'm Lisa has done. And I cannot figure out Discord. So. Yep. <laughs> yeah, Lisa has done an incredible amount of work for this conference too. Like she did a lot of the behind the scenes stuff and helped me edit emails and all kinds of other stuff. Like you're making faces like you didn't and I see them, but at the same time you did, even if you don't believe it yourself. I don't know, E, I think that I think we all need to give you like a huge like <laughs> round of applause. Because you held not only the the conference itself together, but like us. <laughs> us. Yes. We, we, were Absolutely. Just, we were scattered and lost, and you'd be like, come back, come to the group. <laughs> well, so, thank you. <laughs> you have been incredible, and this weekend's been incredible, and I'm so sorry that I had just, like, all the neurodivergence this weekend, and I could not participate. Well, if nothing else, it was on brand. That's fine. We've got the YouTube videos afterwards, and my cat is causing trouble like she has been all weekend. <laughs> but we have the videos afterwards, so nobody has to miss anything. And that's one of the reasons we did it, because... The anxiety and the neurodivergence and the oh god, oh god, oh gods might win. So, right. <laughs> um, the next, so we are definitely looking at doing this next year. That is a plan. Uh, the hope is to make yeah. this annual, and we don't have specific plans for it yet. We are going to be talking after the conference and having a discussion, but yes, we are doing this again. Uh, this has been such a tremendous success in all the best ways. The weekend was incredibly fun and everybody was just 
vibrant and happy. One of my favorite parts of the weekend was seeing people comfortable enough to unmask. So I saw people hugging their stuffies or dressed in comfy clothing or what have you. Like so many people were comfortable and just unmasked this weekend, which is exactly what I wanted. Like I could not have asked for more. And the fact that you felt safe enough too means that we did our job. Um, I'm sorry you can't hear Dana. It's uh, more tech gremlins. Uh, this is recorded. So if someone can let Dana know this is recorded, uh, she she will be able to hear us. <laughs> uh, so I I'm not sure what else to say right now. I'm kind of brain dead after the conference. Um, Leslie, do you have anything you would like to say? I'm just so incredibly pleased with how everything turned out and all of the speakers and like we had really no drama at all. No. Uh, which was phenomenal. It, there's not very many times you can get a hundred plus people together and not have drama break out. And yeah. I'm so pleased with, with how the weekend has gone. Yeah, there was some, uh, <laughs> there were some like tech gremlins, but that was the closest to drama we had was some tech gremlins causing headaches for people. Yeah. <laughs> tech gremlins cannot be helped in an online event. No. <laughs> and even those, I don't feel like we had any that were just catastrophic. No. <laughs> yeah there were a couple times where speakers had to figure out how to use a thing some people got like some commands confused but it was amazing and yes i feel very proud of our community too we had a great time together and yes. i i also appreciate that everyone was so welcoming to everyone everyone was respectful and kind and thoughtful and just sharing a great deal of like themselves we had fun at the um the info dump session mostly turned into uh, show me your cats. That was that yes. was most of what the evening was, was, was show lovely. me your cats. <laughs> and there was a beautiful story about a stuffed peacock. Yes. Uh, so that is absolutely like it was great. The speed dating went very well. Everyone got a chance like who wanted to be there, got a chance to like sit down and talk to people. Um, I had some amazing conversations this weekend with other editors and writers. Uh <laughs> Aw, my husband is saying sweet things. <laughs> and yes, I have been incredibly anxious and incredibly frazzled for the last, like, week getting the last pieces of the conference ready, like, staying up all hours of the night, pulling out my hair, like, oh god, did I send all the emails I needed to send? <laughs> you did an amazing job. Thank you. Um, this Discord channel will stay open. So everybody who's in the Discord channel can stay connected to each other if you would like to hang out and chat. Um, this is not going away. The conference space, I think, closes in half an hour. Uh, as far as, like, we don't have as many people available to be on. Um, but I do have a an office space for the neurodivergent folks. Um, that right now we can only have 25 people online at a time, but everyone's designing their own desk. It's really cute. And... Yeah, last minute battle Tetris. Yep, last minute battle Tetris. You you got to get that last battle Tetris um, game in. <laughs> and yes, it was difficult due to time zones for some folks, and I'm sorry that some of the time zones didn't work. Um, I know Lisa had problems with time zones because getting up for morning would have been egregious. Like, please get up at 5 a.m. to come and be conscious and have a conversation with us in an intellectual way. And I, th I think Lisa was like, no, no, I do not. <laughs> for a good reason, too. My brain is dead. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, wait, I was wondering, on, like, my nerd side of things, yes. do we have a place for people to send their wish list for next year? Like, things that they think would be really amazing? Yes. Or things that... Yeah. Um, I'm going to be sending it out an email to the conference list, how you all got the LinkedIn. I'm going to be sending out a survey um, that's going to include like what you liked, what you'd like to see next year, what we could do more of. I learned something from Mal Cooper this year that we're going to be implementing next year. Even if we don't have the ability to have a live captioner for all the speakers, apparently PowerPoint has an adequate live captioning ability for people who are speaking into PowerPoint and presenting. So even if somebody isn't creating a presentation, they could put a PowerPoint, screen share it, and it would do an adequate job of providing captions. It's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. And Right. Or a captioner. Yeah. So I'm hoping that next year we will be able to hire a live captioner for at least some of the sessions 
and my plan is to have them either do it um, in Discord in the chat in here, or they could do it in the chat in Gather and just have everybody not talk during that so the live captioner can do their job. But we'll figure that out between this year and next year. We will sort all of that out. That is a, a next year problem, not a this minute problem. Because um, if it is a this minute problem, I'm going to go to bed first. <laughs> like, I need a nap in the worst way. <laughs> a four day nap. Yes. Yeah, no emails to E for one week, please. Thank you, Kath. I appreciate you from the bottom of my soul. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to spend the next week asleep. The next, th This coming week is a splat week where I do nothing and play video games. And you have deserve you, you have earned that and you deserve it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Lisa, is there anything you would like to say? I know you weren't able to participate as much as you wanted to. Um, and if you don't have anything specific, that's okay. I'm just really glad it happened. Yes. I am so, so happy. And I am, I was like, I am already excited about getting started for next year. Me so. too. Like, I'm exhausted, but I'm, I'm excited about it too. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I know that Melanie, she couldn't be here with us this weekend due to her health emergency, but she wants to be part of, I think, next year, I believe. And we had a whole lot of interesting people like talking about coming next year and some folks who want to partner with us, like do some vendor stuff. So next year we should be able to put together a vendors hall is the plan. Um, also for, for authors as well as other people. So if people would like to show up and sell their books, that is going to be an option. Yep. My husband is planning a con uh, scavenger hunt in the conference space next year. We'd wanted to do it this year. Um, there, we've also been talking maybe about uh, themes for next year. We're considering pirates or cyberpunk as possible themes for the uh, landscape. We haven't decided yet. And yes, a vendor room where people can get booths and they will be able to sell their like hang out and sell their books and so on. Um, we're trying to figure out how we'll do that. But yes, cyberpunk pirates. Ugh. Now there's a genre crossing I never thought I'd say. <laughs> um, a business card pin board. Yep, that is an option. So I'm going to be sending out a post-conference survey to ask folks um, what they would like to see and see what we can do to serve the community better. And obviously, I want to know what you enjoyed. I know that the confetti throwing was a big thing. Like, there were lots of confetti fights and uh, dance parties. Like, those were great. <laughs> yes, those were wonderful. Yep. Um, sicking everybody to uh, throw confetti at Jay may be an annual thing. I, I think I may make that a, a yearly, like, husband confetti chase. <laughs> Much to his dismay, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, Lisa, what I told everybody is to thank him for creating the conference space that he did, is I had everybody chase him and throw confetti at him constantly through the conference. So that was, uh, <laughs> that was my way of appreciating him. <laughs> it was perfect. Yes. And despite his grumbling, I know he enjoyed it, too. <laughs> uh, is there anything that anybody in the community would like to say in the chat that, uh, that or has questions or anything that we can answer um, as far as uh, keeping touch with people? Like I said, the Discord here is going to stay open so you can all stay in contact with each other. Um, so you aren't going to have to the Facebook groups yep. also. <laughs> oh, pretty. Um, yes, there's the Facebook groups. If you aren't in them yet, there's the Neurodivergent Writers Lounge and the Neurodivergent Editors Lounge. Um, there is the Centered Group, which is the Neurodivergent Publishing Lounge. Are you sensing a theme? I like lounges, okay? I'm a musician. We like lounges. Um, <laughs> There are those locations. Obviously, there's this group. I have a, uh, I run a Discord writing group that I would be happy to invite people to. And it looks like there's a, a neurodivergent editors Discord that has started during this conference, which I'm excited about. Uh, so there are all those resources. Um, is there anything else I forgot? Have I, like, my stomach is growling and my brain is shutting down. So. <laughs> The ND Debt Editors Discord. I don't know who's running it. I joined it, but I don't know who's running it. Let me see. If, I'll, I'll send a link in uh, the group afterwards, I think. I'll, I'll send a link. Like I said, I don't know who's the admin of that space. Um, if, if somebody here did create it, uh, let us know because you're awesome. And uh, <laughs> I'll send people your way. Um, I think that's close to everything. I know I said uh, 45 minutes for the final countdown. Where's the guitar solo when you need it? 
like it, it's guitar now <laughs> shut up it's it's keyboard guitar it's guitar it's it's a guitar my husband's being saucy in the background <laughs> oh, I'm not singing the whole thing. No, like, I would start coughing in the middle of it. Like, I can sing, but... <laughs> yep, uh, we will definitely be sharing links um, across the... Uh, I'll post announcements with links to where people can find uh, the writing and editing groups on Facebook, and I'll post a link to the Discords. Um, if anybody else has locations where we can stay connected, you are free to use them in the... Um, Free to share them in the social space, in the, uh, where is it? I, I wouldn't say self-promotion, but feel free to share them. You could share them in self-promotion. Um, the Discord is, in fact, staying open, period, Rita, so this is going to be a permanent space. Um, I might end up re renaming it to Neurodivergent Publishing Community or something. Um, thank you, Dana. I appreciate that share. Um, so I may rename it, but this this... Discord server is going to stay open and available to people to connect. So if you'd like to use it, go for it. Um, I think that's everything. I think so. Gather workspace. I, I did. Um, I will be sharing a link to the um the gather co-writing space. Um, the only thing is, is unless people pay $7 a month, it is like everybody pays $7 a month. It is only open to 25 people at a time. So, but yeah, <laughs> the, uh, the office space that I mentioned, I'll be sharing a link to that though. Uh, folks are welcome to come join that. You can build your own desk. Somebody made a pillow for it on the floor and it is awesome. Um, I know Kath, uh, gecko edit hangs out in there with me. Yeah, it's usually relatively quiet and very chill, but it's a fun space to share. Um, I believe that is everything. So unless anybody has anything else, I'm going to just going once, going twice. No, you're good. Le Leslie, you good? I'm good. Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming. We are so grateful for your presence and for being able to share this experience with you. Thank you for your knowledge, your joy. Thank you for feeling safe. And thank you for your support. I am just incredibly grateful for all of you. And we will definitely be seeing you again next year. <laughs>